السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today, inshallah, we'll continue with uh, solving questions related to Snell's law and uh, critical uh, angles. What are the conditions to have a critical angle? Now, if I have a light ray inside water, you know, I have a swimming pool and I'm inside water and I have flashlight or laser and I shined this light from the bottom of water till it hits the surface of water. Here this is the normal. Okay. At the critical angle, at the critical angle, the light ray will be refracted exactly at the boundary that separates water and air. So the refracted ray will make a 90 degree angle, 90 degree angle. So the conditions to have a critical angle, this is first medium, N1, it's water. Second medium, N2, is air. So N1, should be greater than N2. N1 for water is around 1.333 and for air is 1. So N1 greater than N2. At if the angle of incident equals the critical angle, so at the critical angle, theta 2, theta 2 will be equals to 90 degrees. So if I use Snell's law, N1, sine theta 1 will be sine theta critical will equal into sine theta 2 theta 2 is 90 degree and this one will equal 1. Divide both sides by n1 so sine theta critical will equal n2 divided by n1 and this is the formula we're going to use to find the critical angle. Now, when do I have the conditions to have total internal reflection? If I increase the angle a little bit more than the critical angle, if the incident ray here down a little bit greater than the critical angle, in this case, the refracted ray will be totally internally refracted, reflect, reflected inside the water itself. So the conditions to have total internal reflection first I should have in one greater than in two at theta critical the angle of incidence will equal 90 degree at angle greater than if the angle of incident greater than the critical angle okay and in one Greater than into, I will have total internal reflection. So let's start with the first question here. You have a light ray traveling in air, enters a flat side of a prism. So I have a prism already, and the light is inside the prism. The prism is made of crown glass. Index of refraction for ground glass is 1.52. The question is, will the light pass through, will the light pass through the other side of the prism or will be totally internally reflected? Will I have total internal reflection? Okay. Will the light will be totally internal reflection inside the prism like that or will the light will be refracted like this blue right away so will i have a refracted ray or reflected totally internally reflected right this is a question now to have a total internal reflection we said we have i should have two conditions in one in one should be greater than in two and the other condition incident angle should be greater than the critical angle. 
Now, the first condition is satisfied. The light already is inside the prism. N1 for the crown glass is 1.52. And the other medium into it's 1 for air. So this is for air and this is for the crown glass. Okay, so this is what's condition satisfied. Now the other condition. The other condition, I have to find what is the incident angle first and what is the value of the critical angle. <coughs> okay, <coughs> now I have the light here. I have to find the incident angle first. This is the surface. If I draw a perpendicular line, perpendicular line it makes 90 degree with the surface. It will be like this. This makes 90 degree with the surface. 90 degree. Half of 90 degree is 45. The angle between the incident ray, this is the incident ray, and the normal. This angle here, this one, this one is the incident angle and this one is 45 45 degree 45 degree so theta incident angle it's 45 degree i need to find theta critical so sine theta critical will equal into divided by in one into it's air one, in one, in one, it's 1.52. I need theta critical, take sine inverse both sides. So theta critical will be sine inverse one divided by 1.52. And this will give me 41.1 degree. And this angle is this value. If you, if you notice here is less than the incident angle which is equal to 45 degree so the angle of incident the other condition which is the angle of incident to have a total internal reflection should be greater than the critical angle is being satisfied the angle of incident should be greater than the critical angle so in this case uh, the ray will be totally internal reflection uh, reflected ray will be totally totally internally internally reflected internally reflected now the other the other uh, question, okay, you have a light rays enters a block of a crown glass as illustrated below. Use a ray diagram to trace the path of the ray until it leaves the glass. Show the steps, okay? Now I have this one. Here I have, this is the angle of incident, theta 1. And I have to find the angle of refracted inside the glass. So my first medium is air. Ray will go from air, it will go to what? Inside the crown glass. So it will go from air to glass. This is my first medium and this is my second medium. I'm going to write a sales law. N1 is 1, N2 for the glass is 1.52. So N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. N1 for A is 1, sine theta 1 is 45, will equal N2 for the glass is 1.52 sine theta 2, divide both sides by 1.52, by 1.52, okay, and then take the inverse 
sine inverse for both sides, you should get theta 2 will be sine inverse of this answer of sine 45 divided by 1.52 and this will give me 28 degree. This is theta 2. So here, the ray will be refracted. This angle between a normal, the normal and the refracted ray will be 28 degrees. Now inside the ray, it's inside the crown glass, okay? And will will be totally internal reflection refracted or will pass to the other side. So my question is, will I have total internal reflection like this or will the light ray bend when it go will bend it or will be uh, refracted when it goes from glass to air? I have now to check. How can I check? I have first to find the angle of incident. OK, here, this one. This is the value of the angle of incident. And compare it with the critical angle for the crown glass. First condition, glass index of refraction. This is now my first medium, and this will be my second medium. In one, it's greater than in two. Now I need to check if theta i greater than theta critical, in this case, I will have total internal reflection. This is what I'm going to do. And this one will be wrong, the light won't be uh, refracted. So I have to find this angle first. <clears throat> now to find this angle, I'm going to call this angle theta i, the angle of incident. Here I have triangle. The total angle of a triangle, 180. So to find theta i, theta i will be the total angle of a triangle minus 28 plus 90 degree. 90 degree because here I have right triangle here that this angle here is 90 degree. So theta i will be 62 degree. This is the angle of incident. Now I have to find the critical angle. The critical angle for for the crown glass. The critical angle for crown glass. So theta critical will be sine inverse in two over in one and sine inverse into air is one and in one for the glass is 1.52 and this angle is 41.1 degree. Okay. So theta i which is 62, is greater than theta critical. So theta i, which is equal to 62 degree, greater than theta critical, which is equal to 41.1 degree. So in this case, I will have total internal, total internal reflection. So what will happen to the light? Here, if I continue drawing the path of light, here, this will be the path of light. I will have total internal reflection. Here. And if I continue doing the questions, okay, I should also get the value of this angle here is, will be 45. This is 28 and this will be also 28 degrees. 